This is Faris. He has a lot of different materials, including wood, plastic, glass, wool, silk, and paper. Faris is thinking about classifying these materials into two groups. What do you think those groups are? Great! Let us see how he classified them. Faris classified the materials into two groups. They are natural materials and man-made materials. Let us talk about natural materials. What are natural materials? Natural materials are materials that we get from the nature that Allah created. These materials are found naturally on this earth and on plants, animals, and others. Plants provide us with natural materials such as wood, cotton, and straw. And we use these natural materials from plants in order to make many different things. We use wood to make furniture, we use cotton to make clothing, and we use straw to make hats and baskets. Animals provide us with wool, feathers, silk, and leather. We use these natural materials we get from animals in order to make many different things. We use wool to make clothes and blankets. We use feathers to make pillows. We use silk to make strings. And we use leather to make purses and shoes and much more. The earth provides us with many natural materials such as sand, stone, mud, and metals. We use these natural materials that the earth provides us in order to make many different things. We use sand in gardens and playgrounds. We use stone and mud for buildings and metals for jewelry and household items. Man-made materials. Now, what are man-made materials? Man-made materials are materials humans make using natural materials in order to create something new. Some examples are glass, paper, and plastic. These materials were made by humans by changing natural materials into man-made materials. We get the wood from trees. However, scientists were able to find a way to transform this wood into the paper we use to write on. Scientists have also been able to transform sand into glass. There is a material known as ivory, and we get this from elephants. Have you seen an elephant's husks? Well, hunters take the husks, and from them they make the handles for swords and daggers. Great job, kids! Let's go over what we learned today. Some materials are found naturally in the environment around us. And natural materials include stone, wood, wool, feathers, and leather. We also learned that some materials are made from natural materials. And man-made materials include plastic, glass, and paper.